A protest over euthanizing homeless pets. Thanks for joining us at 11. I'm Denise Valdez. And I'm Brian Loftus. Now, earlier this week, we told you about the number of dogs being put down at the Animal Foundation. It nearly doubled from 2021 to 2022. Now, some in the community demanding answers as to why this is happening. A News Now reporter Sasha Loftus with more. Stop lying to the community. Strong words during a protest at the Animal Foundation. From a group pushing for change. This organization has to stop killing our animals. Event leader John Wadby speaking on a rise in euthanasia rates. According to the Animal Foundation's website, the number of dogs put down from 2021 to 2022 rose 91%, while intake rates went up 8%. Cat euthanasia also spiked 61% in the same time period. We need to make sure that we are taking care of our animals in this city. City Councilwoman Victoria Seaman, who also attended the protest, says she hopes to see more action from local leaders and the community. Right now, our rescues are at capacity and we have many animals running freely in the street. When we reached out to the Animal Foundation about euthanasia rates this week, they sent a statement reading in part, as an organizational policy, only animals not considered to be healthy and or treatable are candidates for humane euthanasia. Euthanasia rates vary depending on the population of animals we serve. I wouldn't bring a dog here. But John says he still wants more answers and tells us he'll always keep advocating for animals who need help. And as a pet parent, that breaks my heart. Sasha Loftus, 8 News Now. Now, during tonight's protest, Sasha spoke to several people who claim they tried to surrender strays at the Animal Foundation, but they were turned away. Now, when she reached out to the Animal Foundation to verify this, they said anyone turning in a stray or surrendering needs to make an appointment. But right now, those appointments are running weeks in advance.